Well, how about Coffee Time for Anytown? Y'all doing? It's me, John, and Mama here for Coffee Time tonight. Tonight's supper is going to be a super simple supper, as usual. We really don't do a lot of complicated stuff on weeknights. Sometimes we do. But if we do, Mama usually starts it early. <laughs> I'm being lazy. So how you all doing? Let's put, tilt you down. Well, maybe nobody's here. Mm -mm. Don't look well, hello, Karen. Thanks for letting us know you're all here. How y'all? Let's tilt you down. Right here is what we're having. Can you see that? This is the pork. And it is probably, it's it's like a pork chop, but it's been run through the tenderizer. Mama, what do you call such a stuff as that? It's a cube pork chop or a cube pork steak, whatever they want to There's call. three little ones in here. And I'm just putting plain old, plain old table salt on them. And plain old black pepper. Now this is all these are going to get for seasoning parts. That's it. Just salt and pepper. Now in this skillet here, all I've done is put a little bit of this avocado oil. Avocado oil I use sometimes and it's for, um, it'll hold the, it's, it's a, got a higher smoke point. It's not gonna make your anything taste. I'm gonna make sure this is good and hot. I'm gonna turn them all the way up. And uh, it's just good for frying and for if you want a higher smoke point on something, okay? So all I'm going to do is take each one of these little pork steaks that have been tenderized. Let's see if it's going to sizzle. I don't believe it is. Lay it in the center more. It's concentrated. Okay, we'll see if it'll start sizzling here in a second. I just turned it all the way up to maximum. Over here is some peanut green beans boiling away for us. Y'all have seen those. That's just a little pine of them. And there is some um, Spanish rice. And that's what we're having for the pork chops to lay on. Okay. Come on, little skillet. Sizzle, sizzle. <laughs> I know you're on. Sizzle, sizzle. I know you're on. Because your light is on. You're on maximum. I think the oil's starting to move around a little, so. Come on, kids. Sizzle, sizzle. Okay. So this is going to be smothered pork chops. And what you're going to need, if you're going to fix this, if you want to, this is uh, just a can of creamy mushroom soup. And this is just some Lipton onion soup. Well, the store brand. Well, the right store there. brand. This is Kasky's, whatever. That's onion soup. I can't tell a big difference in it. And we're going to put a package of that on there once these fry up done on both sides, which will take about four minutes on each. They're fixing to do it because I hear them. Okay, so I'm going to take it and put a little bit more salt on this side. This is clean hand. I touch the meat with this hand. I'm not touching salt after the meat. Save those comments for when I mess up again. <laughs> <laughs> I knew somebody was saying, he's touched that meat and now he's putting salt and pepper. You was getting worried. No, nope, but not worried a bit, Mama. Because <laughs> I knew what I was doing. Well, you wiped him on the rag over there. Oh, I wiped it, but it's... It's the edge, you see. Yeah, I don't cross-contaminate mama okay come on guys we may have to put that over on the big stove and let it get hot i think we better so it'll get going mama heat it up and bring it back you this better. 110 don't do as much as the stove yeah, stuff so mama, you should have had it on maximum. well oh, i didn't want it to burn up this little 110 it's good and it does bring mama over here and we love it but uh, it doesn't heat as hot as quick, but mama's going to heat it up And once you bring it back, that's hot. It's real hot. So I don't know um, Once you bring it back, then we will Have it good and hot. So what are y'all up to today? It is 
It's summertime, folks. Summer has arrived. It's 83 here. It was 86 earlier that I sang. I don't know. Good evening from very West Portland. Hello, Portland, Oregon. Hello, Donna. How are you? Hi, Kathy. How are you? I'm so glad y'all are on here and moving tonight. Hopefully nobody's freezing up. Hopefully all is well in video world because that's the way we if like you it. Turn this burner down. I will. Uh, yeah, I turned them both down. Those are down. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, okay. Mama, what have you done today? Pure nothing. Pure nothing. Yeah, one of them old days I had nothing. I just uh, Where is the lid for that avocado over there on the stuff? That one? This avocado? Did you take it? Did no, I leave it? No, sir, I didn't. Avocado oil, if, if you haven't used it, it's not as popular probably as olive oil. But avocado oil has a higher smoke point. It's a 500 degree Fahrenheit smoke point. It says right here on the on the bottle, high smoke point, 500 degree Fahrenheit, uh, and it's not going to change the taste or anything. And uh, it's a good oil to use, and it's a healthy oil, and it doesn't cost much. This little bottle here was fairly inexpensive uh, on Amazon, but you can buy them um, anywhere you can find avocado oil. It's a good alternative. Uh, alternative to olive oil or vegetable oil, but you can use either you want uh, you can those are good for roasting vegetables in the oven avocado oil is because it doesn't smoke bad and you the temperature is just right olive oil has a low smoke point mama's gonna bring them back over here and finish cooking them so she'll have to stand at the stove the mamas don't trust it now she's like I'm gonna cook them over here forget it They're browning up. They won't take long. And then all we're going to do, folks, is put a can of mushroom soup. And then we're going to stir in a package of this um, Lipton onion soup. Mama, we're out of this. I found another new box. Oh, we got another new box, she said. Yeah. This is our Save-A-Lot bringing. So it's right there on the back. Save-A-Lot. And it's same thing. I don't taste any difference in it. Even if you're going to eat it, uh, it's a dip. It don't taste any different. Mama, bring them back over. Mama's scared. She's got them done. No, they're not done. <laughs> All right, Mama. Show them what you got there. So that's the browned up pork steaks that have been tenderized. I see the blood coming out of that one. I see it, Mama. It's not ready yet. I don't think so bloody pork. Now it takes them about four minutes on each side. Or one minute, flip it, do one minute, flip it. Well, I can't <laughs> stand that blood coming up looking at it. <laughs> oh, Mama. It'll be all right, no matter how you do it. We're going to prove that right here. Mm -hmm. It will, Mama, because they're raw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we ain't pulling them off to eat them yet. You're fine. So there they are, and we're just going to leave them right there and let them rest a minute. And uh, then we're going to put this cream of mushroom soup. Same brand as soup. I mean, the mushroom soup. Well, when you got that one store in town, you pretty well get what they have. Mm -hmm. Unless you travel out of town for the big store. We do occasionally, but not often. But we like to support our local store, too, though. Our local store is really Williamsburg. Yeah, but it's... Oh, it employs people. <laughs> it employs people here. Yeah. And we are so thankful to have it. We really are. This is the, we're going to call it Lipton Onion Soup. But it's really the store brand. I'm going to open it up. This just gives you tons of flavor. And that's one reason I just made them plain, put salt and pepper on them. Didn't do a lot of fancy. Didn't um, need nothing without that You don't that need flavor. nothing with all that flavor. You can make mashed potatoes with this and use the gravy, but the rice is good too. 
the rice and you can use any kind of rice you want to use I'll let you see down in that packet look at that all kinds of goodness goody goodness so what are y'all eating tonight and what's your temperature it's hot here I've been out in the sun a little bit today and it shows onion rings good evening had hamburgers and onion rings Joanne we never had that uh, we have onion rings sometimes with fish sandwich, but usually it's hamburger and fries. We may try onion rings next time, Mama. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting some onion rings. Mama, you look tired today. They're going to be saying, Mama looks tired. Oh, I ain't done nothing to be tired about. I ain't done a thing. Oh. Say hello to them there, Mama. Hello there. <laughs> play with these pork chops a while. You're. I'm not tired. I'm just... Sad. Are you sad, Mama? Well, I'm not really sad. I don't know. Lazy after working two or three days. Oh. Okay, here's the pork chops again. And I'm flipping. And flipping. So I'm going to let them cook on this side. I do want them to get a little browned. I want them to have that flavor because. Color means flavor. So if you have a little brown on the pork chops, you're going to have a little flavor. Now typically, smothered is something you put a lid on. That's one of the ways you can tell if it's smothered. But this is going to be smothered in this gravy. And I'm probably am not going to put a lid on it. Basically because I just don't want to dirty up one. And these are so tender anyway. And that's one of the reasons you would do this smothered is so you could tenderize them. But these are going to be good and tender anyway. And there they are. Huh? We can sop up some of that oil, Mama, if you are, if you think it, yeah, we probably need to take a little bit because some of that come out of the pork chops. Okay, so where was we at? What are y'all eating and what is your weather like? Pimento cheese and crackers. Ooh, and strawberry yeah. pie. Deborah, we made pimento cheese yesterday. Mama did. And it was delicious. Still is. We got it in the refrigerator. Oh, I ate it for lunch. We're crooked. Mama ate it for lunch. We're crooked. Always try to. Looks like we are. Pancakes and bacon tonight. Oh, Margie. Yeah. Mama, that sounds like something we need to have for before long. I know it. I'd like to have pancakes. Ooh. We don't hardly ever. Almost never eat pancakes in the morning. But at night, we like some good pancakes. Makes you sleep, yeah. You're going to let them brown a minute? I'm going to pour the grease off of them. They feel brown faster. Don't get burnt, Mama. She's going to pour the grease off of them. I don't want to eat all that. Well, it might not be bad. Oh, uh, we had a little stormy weather. Oh, Cindy, are y'all okay? Storms we had them last week. Have we frozen or something? Because you all aren't moving anymore. Did I stop you from moving? There you're moving. Hey, John and Mama from Oklahoma. Didn't eat supper. Had too big a lunch. Kathy, we do that all the time. Uh, we'll, go, we'll fool around here and eat 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, then it's supper time, and then we just don't do it. <coughs> So sometimes we'll tell y'all we had late lunches, and uh, that's why we've had a late lunch and we don't want supper. Having broccoli and cheese sauce, Lisa, that's delicious. Your daddy loved broccoli, but he, what he really loved was some cheese sauce with just a little broccoli with it, wasn't it? Yeah, he liked the sauce better than the, the broccoli. Had blueberry waffles and sausage. Ooh. Oh, tonight's a waffle pancake night. Tuna salad and on a bed of lettuce. Judy, you sound like healthy eating there. That oh, sounds she's good. Good girl. I like tuna mm -hmm. salad. I like it quite We've a bit. Not had none since last summer, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mama, you don't do a lot of tuna, but no, but I can eat tuna salad a little. I don't know if y'all are froze or not. I can't tell. Can't decide. Not moving, they're, they're not moving like normal. Usually they're flying. I can't even read them. 
Em stayed there the whole time. Thirdly, I hope that don't mean we're froze up. Hi from Fallbrook, California. <laughs> hey, Marilyn, how are you? Mar um, Marilyn, I read that first as Facebook, and I thought, what? I thought Facebook was sending me a message. Hi, John and Mama. I love watching y'all. Well, thank you, Jenny. We love having y'all here. These pork chops are hot now. This plate's got hot and sizzling. Let y'all see them again. There they are. Look how good they're looking. Let's see how they're browning a little bit. That's what we're going for now. It's just a little texture color on the bottom. They're getting there. And they're good and tender. Yeah, they're not bleeding. That's what I can't take on for. No, they're not bleeding. Mama. You're good. We can temp them if you feel better about it, Mama. No, I think they're... They're on the way now. They're all right now. We're going to let them brown just another second. Pork they're done. Pork have to be 145, they say now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 145 for pork. They're browning, and we're going to... You can cook it again. I might have to tighten up my camera stand or something. I believe they're browning a little better since I got some of that. They are. All that wasn't oil. A lot of that was out of the pork chop yeah. itself. Uh, shepherd's pie for us tonight. Lisa, I love shepherd's pie. Um, Y'all are froze. Does that mean we're froze? Or is it just my comments acting up? Folks, I do not know why we can't get a reliable internet. I think it moves a little. Right there. Yeah. It's moving, but usually it flies. It's, so slow, it's today. slow tonight. Cute shirt, Mama. Well, thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Hi, John and Mama from Nevada, Christina. Wow. We've been to Nevada. I'm drinking in my coffee cup. If you want. This is a course I talk to myself. Sometimes I need expert advice. Ask you for sure. Well, it stops. I don't know, folks. Maybe it's the... It's not froze on my end. Well, thank you, Angel. Okay. Maybe it's just the comments are slower. You're doing fine on my... Thank you, Phyllis. Yeah. We're good. Thank you, Terry. Well, I'm going to trust y'all and just say we're good. we're good. I don't know why your all's comments aren't going up, but it'll be and it'll be. Come on, little porky chomps. Are you browned? Yeah. Now they're looking brown. I think they're looking pretty good. What do you think, Mama? Yeah, you don't want to get tough on you. No, we don't want to overcook them and get them tough. So here we go. Look right into this pan here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this cream and mushroom soup right in here on top. Mama done drain the oil and what grease had come out of the pork chops, which wasn't a lot, but a little. No, it wasn't much at all. Looking at purple, it's about, you can't even tell. It's about an inch. That came out slick as it could be. You're a good shaker. Uh-huh. I'm just going to let this kind of get in here, do its thing. Maggie, that's trying to make her baby a blanket. Yeah, Maggie's into that. Showing up to eat and drink. You hear that clickety click? That's Maggie. Y'all may not be able to hear it over top of this. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Now that mushroom soup will get warm. Then it'll turn into a wonderful gravy. And then I'll add the lift once it turns gravy here. I'm going to have to add any water since I took all the liquid out of it. <laughs> I don't think we'll need water. Do you, Mom? I hope not. We might, but like we want it smothered, not runny. It'll heat. If I had the lid, it might be better, but... This pan's big. It's a big old 12 inch. It's 
skillet, so. I think this pork chop needs a little. What? Gravy on it. Oh. Kind of looks like milk gravy, doesn't it? Yeah. But it won't taste like milk gravy. I'm going to turn these back up just a touch so they'll be good and warm when we get ready to eat them. So that's all we need to do now is just let that set a second. Let it heat. Heat and then eat. <laughs> you don't pull it and don't know it. I don't know it, that's for sure starting to bubble up a little bit. Alright, so let's see, we're still on those last comments. It never did move. It's not ever going to get right, is it? Well, Mama, I don't know. It ain't what it used to be. The old gray mare ain't what she used to be here, this phone. Well, I'm not either. <laughs> hey, Deborah. Okay, y'all are moving a little bit. Hey, Bonnie. Love watching. Thank you, Miss Bonnie. Hey, Becca, no freezing up. Good. That's great. We want it not to freeze up. That's our goal. Just to hold on a little bit. Well, the soup is getting warm over here. It's starting to bubble and get a little. Mama, you reckon I put this in some water to hydrate it a little bit? Yeah, I'm going to put the bag full of water. <clears throat> do you want to do that? Yes, sir, I will. I was going to put it in a thing. Mama says she's just going to put some in the bag. I do Kool-Aid bags. I'm just doing it because it's got the dried onion in there. I'm going to let this still get warm. I'm going to show you what we're up to here. So here it is. See that soup? That mushroom soup is getting bubbly. You could have put more. You could have put a little. I wouldn't put a can of water. We're not making oh. soup. But you could have put a little water, but I want it good and thick, and this is going to have a little bit of water in it. I'm going to pour this in there and let Let's it see, out. is it dehydrated? See, she put a little water in it, and it's causing it to liquefy a little bit. And it'll heat or make it. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. That's that's going to be quite a bit of flavor and quite a bit of oh, Yeah, get that hot. Oh, you can smell it already. It smells delicious. Mm -hmm. Folks, this is a super simple add to any kind of meal. I'll rinse it out and get all the flavor out. Don't of put it. much more liquid. Now, see here that brown? No. There's quite a bit of water in there. It'll bubble up and thick, thin that. It'll thin this uh, mushroom mm -hmm. soup down, but you don't want to add too much. You just want it to be in all those onions and all that goodness in there. Lipton onion soup or any kind of onion soup is good for about any kind of meat. This is kind of the recipe for granny steak. We use the same mushroom soup and um, see how it's already thickening back up. Mushroom soup and lip in uh, Lipton onion powder. And it makes a wonderful smothered pork chop. You can do this with bone-in pork chops. You can do it with. Uh, I'm gonna put it right there in the middle, and I'll. There we go. See mm. how much more I got out of it. Oh yeah, and you see it's turning a beautiful brown from that soup, from the not from the mushroom, but from the um, onion soup. I'm going to have to try that onion soup sometimes, just as onion soup. You know, it's kind of like the cream ups, I call them. The cream of mushroom, the cream of chicken. Um, does anybody ever just eat cream of chicken soup? I have never, but we've used cases of it before. This ain't hot, hot. I don't know. Maybe we need to check our... Bowditch. I don't know. It's not like stove cooking. I'll put it over here another minute and get it in. Would that help? Well, it's bubbling. But it's, the, what it is, the skillet is so much bigger than I think that's the problem. Here, y'all look at some green beans. 
Look at these green beans and rice for a second. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. That's awful big and awful. Oh, it ain't heavy. It ain't heavy, <laughs> but it's wide. Let's let that heat right there for a second. Uh -huh. Now let's try these green beans out. See where we are in this rice. Maybe if I turn this off now. Turn these up just a touch. Can y'all see what we're doing here? This is the rice. See, it's looking great. It's all that liquid. It's out of there. Mmm, doesn't that look good? These are peanut beans. <clears throat> this is just a pint. Mama cans and pints and quarts. This is a pint. This is a peanut bean. Now look at the beans. Let me pick you out some beans. They're kind of like little peanuts. But they're little. And they're hard to deal with. They're a, they are a uh, heirloom bean. And y'all know how heirloom tomatoes are not the prettiest. You're not buying them for the pretty. These are kind of naughty. They're about that big. They're, you have to string them. But boy, if anything was ever worth... If anything was ever worth its problems, peanut beans surely are. Peanut beans are surely worth what trouble they cause. Because they are that good, aren't they, Mama? Mama said they take a lot of time. Somebody asked me the other day, said, how come you repeat everything Mama says? Well, I guess out of habit because she talks slow and then I get a thousand comments about, I can't hear Mama, we can't hear Mama. So I started repeating what Mama said. So now, when we're on here, I always repeat what she says. when we're out Well, sometimes I have to, Mama, because you talk low. I ask her sometimes, do you think people can hear at that volume? Well, I thought they could, she says. I thought they could. Yes, let's get a plate. And let's eat, Mama. It's a super simple supper night. It didn't take long. All right. Super simple supper. Yeah. This wasn't as simple as it could have been, but it was pretty simple, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm done. Two sides and a meat. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Go, Let's see if y'all have moved. I love creamy mushroom over hamburger patties. Ooh, I do too. That's the reason I said that creamy mushroom is good over anything. And a little bit of lifted onion soup makes everything delicious. Boy, look what Mama did. I'm going to show them what you did. Okay. That's what you want, folks. You want it to boil up good. Get all that seasoning and that flavor in there. Isn't that wonderful? Those, turned out really good. those pork chops are under there. Got all that good gravy. It's this burner is just not hardly. It's big. not one. It's wonderful for smaller pans. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Pans. Very nice. There you go, sir. And it serves its purpose. It gets Mama over here more. Oh yeah. Oh. Let me show y'all. Bring it over here and show you this from this angle. So there it is, and here's the those pork chops are in there. Or pork fillets, whatever you want to call them. My mama give you this one right here. Because oh, I know, and I'm going to take this one right here. Get some of this good gravy. I don't think we'll need enough. And you're going to put your rice. I just want mine beside of it. We say a bed of rice, but really we want just the bed on the side of the rice because I don't like it. Well, I don't mind it to touch, but just don't. 
I'm going to have to separate flavors. I'm going to have to separate my flavors on my plate. Sometimes I don't want stuff to touch, depending on what it is. Are y'all that way? That's no. Yes, ma'am. Can I have some rice, or would yeah. you want to eat that for later? If you don't want me to have it, Mama, I won't. I eat just it. didn't cook, get to you. you. Had that other kettle in the way. Oh, Lordy, Mama. Me and Mama aggravate each other all the time. She knows I'm teaser. I'll tell her so. If you don't want me to have it, Mama. You couldn't tell your daddy that because he would get his feelings hurt. Okay. You got knives out and everything. Oh, yes. I tried, Look at you. I tried to hurry and do it. All right, Mama. Let's bless it, and then we'll have supper. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful meal. We thank you for giving it to us, dear Lord. We thank you for nourishing us with it, dear Lord. And we thank you for these hands that prepared it. And dear Lord, we just want to ask you to be with each and every prayer request, dear Lord. And be with our country. Be with our nation. Dear Lord, be with each and every problem that arises. And be with each and every prayer request that's out there, dear Lord, those spoken and unspoken. Lead God and direct us in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, folks. Mama, you taste. Oh. See what you think. I know what I think about the green beans. I think they're absolutely perfect. <laughs> You're a green bean person, I think. I love them. You wouldn't eat corn when you are young, but you sure would eat green beans. Mm, now I love corn too. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it, Mama? The pork chops are real good. So there's the smothered pork chops. You can see there, I can't show the inside of them because they're smothered in gravy. Mmm. I don't know why we don't have these every night. <laughs> I get tired of it every night. They are delicious, folks. And they are super simple. And if you all aren't filming, it'll be even quicker for you. Because, I mean, you just brown them. If you'll just leave them alone, leave them four minutes on each side, turn them once, they'll be done and they'll be brown. Then put your soup in there, let it kind of get warm. And then, like Mama rinsed out that... Um, bag. bag. If you're going to cook them a little longer, you don't have to put water in the bag. You could have just put it in that mushroom soup and it would have softened, but it would have taken probably about five more minutes. It worked out just perfect, didn't it? It did. You want it to be, you want your soup to be firm and clingy. You don't want it to be too loose. But you want it to smother that pork chop. That's the whole point. Smother it down and make it good all over. Now, folks, this would be good for breakfast, even. And this would be good on a biscuit. I don't know if I want onions for breakfast. As low as I eat, though. Taste it. of it again, Mama. I know. Taste of it and think back to some restaurant where you've gotten a steak biscuit. Or even a pork chop biscuit. Pork chop and gravy biscuits at home. Taste that and tell me. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I ain't just like their breakfast stuff. A lot. Mm -hmm. Very much. So try it, folks. It's a keeper. This is certainly in a new recipe, but no means for us. This, like I said, this is my granny steak recipe. Granny used to make this with cube steak for us for every special occasion. If you went to her house for supper, for a birthday, for a birthday, just all make some steak, and it was cube steak fixed just like this, and it's delicious. It's those that rice. It's just like a, <clears throat> when you put that on, it's like another meat, totally. What do you mean? Like it's a steak or pork chop, either one. It's like 
it's a different flavor, different. Oh yeah, it's not just like a piece of meat. You've got that gravy and that all that flavor going through there. It's mm -hmm. delicious. Delicious. Are y'all moving? Can't tell. I don't think they are. Mm -mm. For some reason, it, sounds, it is good for breakfast. In fact, if there's any left over, that's probably what we'll have for breakfast. Mm -hmm. What is in the rice? It's just a, this was just a box of rice. What was it called? Hmm. Spanish rice? No, it wasn't Spanish. It might have been. It might have been. We keep all kinds of rice here. We I keep the minute know. rice, the 90 second rice. And uh, you can do brown, long brown it's not none of those. Brown long grain rice. Pedro. Yeah. It was a it was a Spanish rice. Mm -hmm. okay. It's got a few peppers in it. Got a good mix in it, but any rice will work with this. Or mashed potatoes would be delicious with it. But when you're doing super simple, you don't want to peel potatoes and boil potatoes and mashed potatoes. So rice is an easy, quick go to. I use rice a lot. Usually yeah. for lunch. But a lot for mm. supper, don't we, Mama? Yeah. Mmm. Well, folks, that's all we have this evening. That's all. Here comes Maggie. Yep, Lisa. Anytime you hear that click of that fork on that plate, Maggie says, I bet something's going on here I need to check out. <laughs> and she does check it out. The princess has arrived. You've been freezing up. Sorry, Linda. I thought we might have. I bought rotisserie chicken, took it off the bone, and made chicken salad. It's delicious. Tony Davis, I know it is. I've done that before myself. It's delicious. Good evening, John and Mama. Your meal looks delicious. Well, thank you, Jeff Biggs. It is very delicious. It's easy. 90 second rice. Yes. I love the 90 second rice, too. Um, I mean, let's face it, folks. We all want to eat, and we want to eat healthy or semi-healthy. This may not be the healthiest, but it's semi. But really and truly, I don't know about your all's jobs or what you all do, or if you're home. And it seems like anymore, everything's at a fast pace. And when you've worked, or if like mama stays home now, but mama's always busy. You know, being home doesn't mean you don't work. It just means you have a new location to work. Um, you don't want to spend all evening on supper every night, six or seven days a week. So sometimes, taking a shortcut with some 90 second rice or <clears throat> popping a can of green beans or doing a one dish with a couple of easy sides, it's great. Um, and like parents, I've heard parents say, oh, I'm going to have to cook, I'll fed them. Pizza and takeout two nights this week. That's okay. You fed them. That's what counts. You can't beat yourself up. Life is tough. And that's what uh, coffee time is all about. Just taking a little break. And it's okay. We all like homemade everything. And, you know, I would love to make homemade bread and let it rise and bake it in the oven and not buy store-bought loaf bread. I ain't got time for it. But I would like to do that. But she talking about the kid <coughs> pizza and takeout. The kids probably would rather have that. And pizza bigger. is not a horrible meal. Pizza people give pizza a bad name, but think about pizza. Pizza is usually meat, vegetables, and bread. If you get the <coughs> thin crust, you don't have much bread. Right, but I mean, you know, that's what you serve on your table at night. Maybe a sausage or beef or whatever and a couple of sides with vegetables and some tomato sauce it may have a few sugars in it and those things but it's not terribly unhealthy really and there's different kinds you can get that's even more healthy so if you fed your kids pizza a couple of nights this week already bravo you did a good job or if you got them carry out and they had a piece of hamburger and a bread with some lettuce or tomato on it you basically have fed them a piece of chopped beef steak, a roll, and some salad. <laughs> Y'all are doing good. Just keep it up. 
All right, folks, we're going to say good night. We're going to say make you some memories. Enjoy life. Enjoy the evening. The sun's coming through the bank window. Maggie's, Maggie's wanting to go out and lay in the grass. She likes that any day it's not raining. She'll even go out and lay in the snow. She really will. But uh, we're going to finish up eating, and then I'm going to go to the porch. Yeah. And Just don't leave the fan on tonight. <laughs> I got in trouble the other day. <laughs> I use the fan, and well, I use the fan anytime. But in case y'all haven't discovered, if you have a porch ceiling fan, it'll keep mosquitoes blowing off from you. They can't fly. So if you'll keep it rolling and that air breezing, <laughs> you don't have any mosquitoes or bugs of any kind. So I had the fan roaring out there. I was out there the night till ten o'clock, and um, Maggie was insistent it was time to go in. Because she goes in the same way she goes out. Barking she barks already. her head off and runs to the door and looks at you like, come on, let's go, get on. So that's why she goes out. Well, that's why she comes in, too. She'll lay out there two hours. But when she's ready to come in, she starts barking. Well, it was 10 o'clock and she's barking. And I was afraid the neighbors was going to like sign a peace warrant against me or something. <laughs> and I was jumped up and ran in and grabbed, well, I didn't have to get Maggie, but I said, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Open the door, let the queen come on in. Gave her her treats. Gave her her treats. And maybe that's where she barks and carries on because I reward her every time she does it. <laughs> I'd come in faster too sometimes. So by the time I got her treats given to her, and you have to give her three, sometimes I take one and break it up. And like, you know, she don't know. Don't <laughs> she <tell> might know. <laughs> don't tell her. But uh, a pepper, you know, a pepperoni is long. I don't, you know. So she wants three treats to hit the floor. She'll look at you like, come on. That was two. You know, she's very demanding. But anyway, I got sidetracked and I left the fan running out there all night till the next day. Next when, morning I found When it Mama out. said, did you know you left the fan out? <laughs> I said, yes, I did, Mama. I did know it. And I left it on to keep the mosquitoes blowed away all night long. <laughs> No, you didn't know you left it. <laughs> and that's exactly what she did. She laughed at me and said, no, you didn't. You forgot. <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> but it really didn't hurt nothing. I don't think. <laughs> but anyhow, that's what we're up to. Y'all found you something good to do. If you've not eaten yet, find you something good to eat. It's 8 o'clock. I'm sure y'all have eaten. Oh, they're all through eating and going to bed. We're the last people in the world to eat, I do believe. <laughs> And uh, y'all have a good night. Make you some memories. Love somebody. Enjoy life. Mama, say good night to the folks. Good night. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Bye, bye. bye y'all.